back in my day, I had to walk a mile through the snow, uphill both ways. And then I had to do Google searches that couldn't tell the difference between a biology paper and, and game studies. And then I had to type up my dissertation on a computer that didn't even have a brain interface. Kids these days don't know how good they got it. Get off my lawn. Hi, I'm Crystal Lee Malone. This is the Technophiles Newscast and I don't actually have a lawn. After a decade in grad school fighting with Google about the true meaning of anthropological terminology, it looks like the next generation of students is going to have it a lot easier. Thanks to the Allen Institute for Artificial Intelligence or AI2. AI2 has just released a service called Semantic Scholars that uses artificial intelligence to search for and categorize scientific papers into usable topics. So the great thing about this artificial intelligence is it's not going to just rely on keywords. It can actually look through the text and images and even figures and graphs within a publication. So it can look at all of that and it can index it and contextualize it within a topic which will help a researcher get better search results when they're looking for something specific like not biology. I don't study biology. It grosses me out. Blood and stuff and ew. This is why I went into anthropology. But Semantic Scholar is going to do more than just indexing for the purpose of searching. They're also going to compare citations, use natural language processing. They also claim they can determine paper quality. In the future, they hope to expand this and be able to make connections across fields that researchers may have otherwise missed. And for you busy, busy scholars and finals weary undergrads, here's another perk. Semantic Scholar is essentially going to be skimming the articles first, and then you can find figures and findings from the publications before you read it, therefore knowing whether or not you want to read it. No, undergrads, this does not mean you can use these findings without understanding the context of the article, which you still need to read. What it does mean, however, is you won't have to waste precious hours reading through articles that you're not going to use. I'm sure there's an appropriate warning there to scholars, but I'm too young to scold them yet. Recently on the podcast, we talked about the Memex project from NASA and DARPA, which I have high hopes will be expanded into an academic search engine. Then there's also ResearchGate, which we also covered on the podcast. And even though that's really more of a social network, Anyone who's become savvy with finding information on Facebook and Twitter knows that sometimes social media can be better than a search engine. And as great as all this is, and I am very excited for this, they are not quite the savior for all academics yet. Right now, Semantic Scholar has only gone through and indexed computer science papers. However, their CEO claims that they will broaden this within the year. So tell me, students and scholars of the world, what will you do with all your free time? Spoiled kids can rub it in in the comments below. You can also find us on Facebook at Technophiles Podcast or on our website at www.technophilespodcast.com. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like us below if you liked us, which I'm sure you did. You can also subscribe over by my shoulder to get more videos delivered every week. Last week we had V on and she talked about the Hyundai's Augmented Reality Owner Manual. This sounds really cool, something about on your cell phone you can hold it up and yeah you should just listen to her she knows what's going on and then v was over here as well talking about japan is making a gundam robot and i i know this is ridiculous but i have to ask are they going to program it to do gundam style i know it's totally different it's not even the same word this is what happens when you don't speak japanese or korean you're like gundam gundam they sound like the same Right? <laughs> <laughs> like, ah!